Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to map a network. So mapping a network is really important when you first start off in Cisco or any network job at least. The first thing that you will do is find your way within the network and this I'm going to show you today. So first of all, we're going to do a show version. And show version is showing you the model name, the uptime, the serial number, um, also the firmware that is running. So in this case, this is the firmware. The firmware is also visible here. The model number of the switch is here. And here you have the serial numbers of the switch. And this is always a bit complicated to figure out which serial number uh, belongs to which switch. And I believe it's this one. So system serial number. That's the one I normally document. So I have prepared a Visio drawing. Um, for it to easier for us to add information in it. So first off, I will add the name of the switch, the host name, like, do like this. Then I will add the version number. Then I will add the model number and I will also add the IP address and the IP address is easiest to get from show IP int brief and in this case I on only have one IP so this would be the IP address And it's of course better to document in a system than to document on a Visio drawing. But the Visio drawing helps you understand the connectivity and how everything is connected to each other. And to see connection between switches, especially if it is Cisco switches, the easiest and best command is show CDP neighbors. Show CDP neighbors will show you the device name, the host name of the, the switch that is connected to you, the local port and the destination port and also the platform. It's also possible to do show CDP neighbors details. So you see a lot more version, a lot more uh, information at once. For example, the IP address and this is important when we are going to move forward so let's start with this let's start with this part this is one switch so switch management 3 so copy and we add it here and we're going to add uh, the firmware we cannot see the complete firmware version and we need to log into that switch later on so let's just take the, the switch number and the most important the IP so IP and let's make this a bit bigger and here then we have interface and we have outgoing port so which is the the interface that we have on our local switch well we can scroll up here and see local interface so this is the first interface this is the interface that we are connecting to the other switch with. So let's write here. 
So this would be geek zero three. See, gig zero three. And it's connected to gig zero twenty four. And then we just do a connection between this. And normally I do like this. And if we want to do even better documentation, we can also do a show interface status. And this will show what type of port that we're using. So if this would be uh, uh, SFPs, then we would see if it's an LR or an SR interface. In this case, we can see that this is copper ports. We don't know if this is copper ports here, but here it's copper. So let's continue. So when we have done switch management switch three, let's do switch management four. Management two, I mean. So just edit here and that would be 12. And we see here, it's the same type of, of hardware. We see that it's going from five to 23. So let's change this to 23. And we connect this. To gig zero slash five and this is a bit strange to have three and two but let's figure that out uh, how it is later and uh, just move it around on on the on the drawing so next one will be to get management switch one so management switch one you see here and it's dot 11 so dot 11 our local port is gig 0 slash 1 and the remote port is gig slash 23 so that's correct let's do a connection and already here I would like to move one over here and I would like to do like this so one and then we will have a two and then we have a three and we will fit the four in between there So we have a four and let's see if we can do like this. Let's put them in order. One, two, three. And then we need to do a show CDP neighbor detail. And we have already done three, two, one. Then you press space when you see this more. And then we have seven. And seven is connected to seven. Let's do a six and a seven. Six. So six. Seven, and then we will do like this I feel like this is going to be quite a lot of them so we will do the management number seven somewhere over here management seven and it has 17 and it's a new switch model 
So let's take this switch model, copy. And it's connected to seven and one slash zero slash 24. So gig one slash zero slash 24. And it's to seven. So let's do like this. And then we do number six. So six in this case. And it's the same type of switch. It's the same type of number. And it's to zero six. So let's just copy this one from that port to number six. Then we need to do number five. And you see here, it's that type of switch. So let's do this one. Let's move this a bit more because we're going to fit a number four. So this is number five first. And it's connected to 23. We did write 24 there. Just verify here. 6, 24. Yeah. And 3. Management switch 3 was 24. So that's correct. So let's go back to number 5. Here's number 5. So that's 23. 2. 5 to 2. So 23 to number 2. And then we will have a switch number 4. Let's do 4. And that's 3560x. It's to 23, so let's make sure to change this. 23, and it's connected to 4. Perfect. And then we do have an 8 and a 9. So let's do. Uh, Let's do them in order this time. So 8 XR. So it's a new switch type. So 8. Wait, I see that we have made a mistake here. We haven't changed the IP addresses. So let's go back to 3. The 3 is dot. 13, so that's correct. This was the number four. Number four, where are you? Number four is a dot 14. So let's change that. And number five is dot 15. And number six is dot 16 17 let's assume that 8 is number 18 yeah it is number 18 and that's this type of switch A nine is the same type of switch, so let's do that one. So this is eight, eighteen, nine, nineteen, and it's twenty three, twenty three. So let's see what we have written here. We have written twenty four, so let's change to twenty three. And 
and we have ended on we need more ports so let's take two new eight and nine eight and nine See, eight and nine. So number eight is connected to eight and 23. So let's do like this. Eight to 23 and uh, that one to nine. So, and honestly, I would like to change cables on these two, but yeah, that's how it is now. So the, these have been flipped. It's a bit annoying, but you can see it here clearly. And you can see clearly also that we have different switch models. Maybe it's because it's different age. So this is a later switch model than the 3560. So are we missing any now? So let's do a show CDP neighbors. And we also have a distribution routers or switches. So let's do that one. This one, it actually looks like it is a stack maybe, or at least it's two cables. Yeah, it's two cables. So let's do like this and we connect it here show CD, CDP neighbor details can we do any more output modifier management no gig what can we do here include exclude begin let's do yes details and then find the latest switch so here we have the management distribution switch b and we don't know that one we know ah oh, yeah we need to log into every switch and just verify the number. So let's do the next one. And sorry, sorry. Let's do the connection first. So one, one to one, one and two, one to one, two. So let's do one here. Let's do like this. I will do like this so the text is not upside down. Delete, make a new one. Like this, and let's change them. So it's gig one slash two, gig. 1 slash 1 gig 1 slash 1 gig 1 slash 2 and it's annoying to not have them on the same level maybe something like that and then connection between these nice And the question is, is this a VPC or is this spanning tree or what is this? So we can do a show run. Oh, 
and we can see here that it's a port channel. So it's a port channel to management switch distribution switch 1B. So this is a port channel. So let's see. Ah, oh, we have many port channels as well. So show interface status. Show int brief. Show int brie brief. Ah, oh. show IP interface brief. Show interface. Summary. No. Incorrect. I'm looking for a command. So we have a lot of channel groups, but let's take that later. So let's log into this one. Can okay, just say right away, this is a port channel. Mm, don't know how to fix that. So let's log in. And now you see we have the nine switches and the two distribution switches. So let's do with a show version. Just so we get the correct switch type. And that is correct. And then we do this one. And this time we can do the show CDP neighbors because we don't need to find out the IP addresses and so on. We just need to find the ports and the names. So let's start from zero 01. So zero 01 is connected to management switch one port 24. So let's do like this, gig 0 slash 24. In connection, let's make it straight. Then 2 is connected to 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it's connected to 24. And then let's do 3. So here is 2. That was the 2. And here is 3. So it's connected to number 3 and 23. So let's see here. Yeah. 0 slash 23 and then let's do number 4 so 4 is connected to 24 
24 gig 0 slash 24 24 5 and 5 is connected to 2 and 24 and then loops to 6 and 6 is connected to 23 gig okay, 0 not 1 slash 0 slash 23 and then let's do 7 and 7 is connected to 23 23 and 8 is connected to 24 And nine is connected to twenty four. And you see here, we have actually not connected this one. And uh, this is the router. So you see here. It has an R, so it's a router. So that's quite nice. So that's probably how we get into the switches. And now let's do it a little bit more pretty. Let's do like this. So you see the topology is now fully done. And we can do the routers just to, to show how it looks. So let's do downward facing ports and it's uh, gig 0 slash 20 and I would assume that it's one here as well Forward facing port, and that is the F0 10. And normally, the router um, maybe it doesn't belong to you, maybe it belongs to the service provider, so it's not always that you can log in to, to the routers. Let's do I check this one as well. Show CDP neighbors. So let's take this one as well. Copy. Oh. Copy. And that's FA10. Same as the other one. And to get this 100% documented now, well, then we need to log in to every single switch and do the same verification commands like we did before. 
and I will log into one just to show you. But this video is getting quite long already, so I'm not going to uh, to map it out completely. Um, you can see that it's continue here, and I already have mapped this one before, and I can tell you like this. This is a management network, and you see that you have management ports here. So there is no production traffic this way. It's only management for our spine leaf architecture uh, Nexus switches. But as you see, you need to go forward. So you see here you have four more Cisco devices that is connected to this management switch 01. So a network can become quite large. And if you're really good on this or how you should work in the future is to use some sort of automation tool to make all these commands for you and paint the network for you. Uh, doing it manually is a great way to start to learn networking, um, but it's not the fastest, so think about it. Thank you for watching, and uh, I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.